something like the plague? Can you ignore something like the plague? It's our trivia question for the day. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. We're just having a little chat over here. Um, one thing we want to talk about, uh, I use a lot of different gadgets and things to keep me, that keeps me motivated. It keeps me, you know, in the plan. And it's certainly for when you start out, even if you're like Alan did, cut out all the white stuff, he still tracked all his food. Mm -hmm. You need to know how much you're eating and what you're eating. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite things. This is my um, perfect beaker. Look at that, perfect beaker. It's great because I um, can do tablespoons, teaspoons, ounces, um, everything pretty much, cups. And okay. yeah, and then the metric system, I don't know what those measures are, but if I was in Europe, I'd use this right here. Anyways, this is the best thing when it comes to uh, just, uh, uh, and you don't have to, you know, oh, I need this cup, I need that thingy. Right. It's just all one thing and I can, and kind of keep a good, a good measure of what I'm eating when I'm tracking. Okay, so Cindy, you're, you brought something, what's this? Right, that's my Weight Watcher scale. That's your Weight Watcher scale. Yeah, it's my go-to gadget in the kitchen. Do you, what do you, do you, do you weigh everything or just like the meats, that's when you're... I use it for everything, like even pretzels, chips, um, really? just so I don't count them out. Because, I mean, let's face it, you count out the chips and the broken one, you're like, oh, that's still that's only a half like one. half one, so I have like two more I can put on there. <laughs> half equals two, right. totally. So I if you do it that way, it's ounces and it's exact. And it's exact. And then, um... All right, so then the other two things that I have are these. These came from a uh, local uh, linen, like Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get them at, you can get them online. But they are, um, they, they hold all my salad dressing. Like, That's have you cool. ever put an entire uh, big jar of salad dressing in a bag and go to work with it because you yeah. had a salad in there, mm -hmm. right? I, I have done and that. And then you end up having to throw it away because, right, because it goes you bad. forgot you've got that to put it back left the there. Yeah. This is the best little thing. Two tablespoons of whatever your salad dressing is is in this thing, and That's you cool. stick it in your bag, and you know, you know, I don't, I never have to measure. I just fill it to the top and know that I have two tablespoons of my salad dressing. That's really smart, right? Mm -hmm. That's all that's ever in there. If you see something clear and white, it's that's all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this though, I have the same scale, and it makes a big difference for me right. for my meat. Okay, so um, we also have to go high tech, and that is my <laughs> phone and your phone right. are critical. Right. You use, what's your favorite app? Uh, the Weight Watcher app. You use the Weight Watcher app. Right. Okay, and so, and I'm gonna put another plug in for, I love the Weight Watcher app, but then I also like Lose It. I like right, my I Fitness one. Pail. Mm -hmm. um, and Lose It just has had an upgrade that I'm kind of testing right now to see if I like their new upgrade. But okay. it's about just tracking it all. You already got your phone, you might as well do it. Now, the next area that we wanna talk about are little tiny devices like this. I have a Fitbit at home. You've got an active link. These count our motion. Yeah, accelerometers. So mm -hmm. anytime Ooh, you move, word, Joy. I know. <laughs> I had to practice that. <laughs> <laughs> and every every move you make, a pedometer is wonderful, uh -huh. but it only counts the movement of your hip when you're mm -hmm. taking a step. Right. And other people um, do other activities. You know, maybe they're doing turbo kick or something where the hip isn't moving in the same thing. And this um, accelerometer will take into consideration all of the movement that you make and I that's fantastic. It. And my Fitbit's just steps, but then I also, um, the Nike Fuel also counts, you know, more mm -hmm. the different motion. Do you have any of those kind of deals? I have a body bug. You have a body bug. And that's about what Joy said in the break was having these devices, if you need that next level of push is that knowledge is power. We know what we're eating, we know how we're moving, and then we can figure out, we can Absolutely. solve the puzzle of how we're feeling and how we've stuck to it or didn't or what result we got that day or that week. I was gonna show you real quick, um, my breakfast includes right now, I do an egg beater, I do a Weight Watcher slice of cheese, I put it all in there, mix it all up. They can tell you at home, uh, that's what I do for my breakfast. I take it to work, it's my little scrambled egg that's under 100 calories. So, I'm not gonna fix up that food right now, but because we ran out of time, because the three of us, we like to talk. <laughs> Please stay with us all year. We're gonna try to help you have a healthy year like we're trying to have. And we're gonna get to those goals in 2013. Congratulations on your goals from 2012. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>